Hi, welcome to Steven Sennix video tutorial. It's another remake of an old one, and a very old one. And it's another basic exercise. I've made a drawing, so let's take a look at it. So here it is. And if you want, you can make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step, if you want. So let's have fun with Siemens NX. Let's start with a sketch on the Y set plane. I will need a circle and the diameter should be 230. Then I need some lines to so go for profile, maybe like that here. And another one like this. Okay. This should be for construction only. These should be parallel. And that one as well. And there should be an angle, and this should be 50 degrees. Same on the other side. Okay, then I need a distance, and that distance should be 19 millimeter. Then we can trim. Okay. And finish that sketch. Now let's make an extrude. Make it symmetric. Make it 40 millimeter. And I want to go for an offset, single-sided or two-sided, go for two-sided, it's easier to set up. And if we go for minus 15, that should do the trick. Yes. And confirm. Great. Now another sketch on the same plane. Confirm. And I need a circle right there, and the diameter should be 40. Finish that sketch. Make another extrude. Make it again symmetric. But right now it should be 60 millimeter. And with that sketch, curve is selected, not really. It is selected. That's okay, that's okay. And I want to unite it. So go for unite. And confirm. Great. Then another sketch, again on the same plane. And that will be a line, which should start here, and then go up there. And the length might be 110, that should do. Yes. Finish that sketch. Make another extrude, make it again symmetric. Go for 40 millimeter. And I want to have an offset, symmetric, and it should be five. And again, go for unite and confirm. 
Now I want to reuse the first sketch. So make another extrude with the first sketch. Make it symmetric. Make it 20. Go for another unite and confirm. Great. Now I want to make the fillets, so therefore I want to make this one the current feature. Let's go for an edge blend, make it 10 millimeter, and those 10 millimeters should be here, here, there, over there, on this edge, that edge, and this one and also those two apply and then go for 25 right there and no that's the wrong one make sure you got the right one like this and confirm now if I make this one the current feature, yeah, but we can correct that by moving that extrude before that edge blend, like this. And that's okay. Maybe hide those sketches. Now, maybe hide that solid. Next sketch on the same plane as before. I need a circle and the diameter of that circle should be 30. Okay, this should be for construction only. Okay. I need lines maybe like that and that angle should be 25 and it should be symmetric so maybe first trim it make it for construction only And align that endpoint and this point here vertical, not possible. Why? Let's take a look, should be possible. So I want this endpoint here and that endpoint. Yeah, that's okay, just confirm. And now go for an angle, and that angle should be 25. Yeah. Now a circle on this end point, and diameter should be 5. Another one at this end point. millimeter and now I need two more circles one which is tangent to this one and another one also tangent here great next I want to trim so this should be removed that should be removed this one here and those on. Let's see, should be fully defined, yes. Finish that sketch, bring back our solid. Now let's make an extrude with that sketch here. Make it symmetric, make it at least 40 and subtract it and confirm. No, it's not 40 but 60. 
make it at least 60 yeah now we need a circle of feature pattern circular the vector would be of course that axis here okay I want to go for six instances on 360 degrees yes that's okay and confirm great okay I've just noticed that time it here in that sketch must be wrong so let's go to that sketch yes and this diameter is wrong this should be 25 okay that's more like it okay and now I want to copy that sketch here so go for copy and paste it with Control V onto the same plane so to just have to confirm here with OK let's hide the solid and hide the original sketch and edit this one so this diameter should be 140 that angle should be 30 now let's delete one of those dimensions and now make those two arcs equal like that here now so this one should control both of them and this should be 20 nice I will need another circle here which is 20 in diameter those two arcs should be tangent let's see okay and no I don't need another circle like this and go for tangency yeah okay I want to add a construction line from here over there should be for construction only and I want to trim it like this then I need two circles and diameter should be 10 millimeter another one over here make sure it's 10 yes it is and then use tangency constraints from here to that arc same over here not like this let's undo that maybe move it a little bit closer than this one and that one should be tangent and this one and that arc here make sure you click on that arc now I can trim this could be removed that could be removed this that because I've made those construction lines you have to make sure you trim all the necessary small curves here as well now one dimension is missing so from this point to that sketch origin it should be 50 yes it's fully defined finish that sketch bring back that ex solid select the sketch go for another extrude make it symmetric make get 40 millimeter yes subtract yes and okay then I want to make a pattern feature vector would be of course this axis here the x-axis like that I want to go for six instances 360 degrees because it's convenient then I want to delete 
this instance, that instance, and I want to clock this one, minus 6 degrees, and that one over here, 6 degrees. Confirm, confirm. Great. Last feature I need is a hole. So go for a hole. Make it 12 millimeter, yes. Normal to face, to the body, yes. And put it right on this arc center point. And confirm. And I'm done. So hope. It was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.